Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey everybody, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. This is your home for craft Bible study that is cooked daily, hot and fresh, just for you here in the Bible Bistro. So today we're looking at, and all this week, Psalm 126. Psalm 126 is a part of the Ascent Psalms, and so we're going to be ascending to Jerusalem, continuing to ascend to Jerusalem as we go up with the pilgrims, and they're making their way to Jerusalem. We began all the way back in 120, so this is now the seventh step along the way. Psalm 126 is a psalm of rejoicing, and why not? The prodigal is returning to the Father. And so along the way, he recalls all that God has done and rejoices in the great deliverance that God has given him. And so that's what we have here. We have a psalm of rejoicing. So let's just begin today in verse 1, and then we'll make our way through the psalm. There are six verses in Psalm 126. And so we'll save the last two verses of this psalm for for the uh, last day of the week on Friday. You look forward to that, and you'll understand why we want to put those two together on Friday when we get there. Verse 1 says, When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. So, first of all, notice that we have the word when, when the Lord did something. It's not if he was going to do something or if he did something. This is a looking back, and it's a when. The thing is, God did this work. He turned again the captivity of Zion. Now, I'm not really sure what this is referring to exactly because there are lots of turning the captivity of Zion stories that we could look at. Principally, I'm sure that immediately you probably think of the Babylonian captivity. And the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion so that the people could go back. So perhaps this is written during the first return from Babylon. You'll recall that there were two returns, one under Ezra and one under Nehemiah. And so perhaps this is the first return of the people to the land of Judah. And they go right back to the city of Zion, to Jerusalem. And the Lord does this work. He's the only one that could do this work. He's the one that touched the heart of the Persian king. He's the one that opened the door for them to go back. He's the one that supplied them with the military to protect them along the way, the finances to feed them along the way, and when they got there, and the finances to rebuild the temple so that there could be worship once again on the Mount Zion in that land. The Lord did a work, and... When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion. John Mason Neal says that this could be a poetry that was written by Haggai or Zechariah or one of the prophets of the return. Perhaps this was written during that time, and so they are remembering all that the Lord had done. And it says that we were like them that dream. So we have a little similitude here at the very first. Them that dream. So when you dream... It's amazing the things that you can accept as real when you dream, right? And then when you wake up, you realize that it was just a dream. But this is a dream that is happening in reality. They were like those that dream, and they were amazed at what was happening, and it just seemed like something separate from the reality that they had been living. So they were rejoicing. They were overwhelmed with. They were overtaken by this work that the Lord does to restore them again to the place of worship, to Mount Zion. And, of course, as the prodigal is returning, as he's coming from Meshach in the tents of Kedar, and he's making his way to Jerusalem, he's thinking about how suddenly he realized where he was, and now he's coming back. And even though he's not there yet, he is going to rejoice. He is overwhelmed by the goodness of God. And so here, and so for us as well. 
Well, join me again tomorrow, and we'll have some more craft Bible study for you, looking at verse 2 in Psalm 126. I'll see you then on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.